Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Before we get started, if you enjoy the content or find value in it, please give it a thumbs up at the bottom, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so that you don't miss future updates. We will also be putting um, links to, to all the important websites, information that you need, as well as to our other platforms. Whoop, whoop. We chose to go on a little remote island uh, where all the locals stay, because we like local, local is lacquer. The way we did the, the Maldives is very different from what you would normally see on all your postcards and all the other videos. You know, it's no overwater bungalows, it's no all-inclusive. But important to notice that it's the same blue water, it's the same white sand, but it's at a fraction of the cost. So you get various different types of local islands. We chose Belidu, pure and simply because all my research pointed to the fact that it's the best island for diving and it did not disappoint. But you do have different options that you can go to. Valido was the one for us. Important thing to note about the local islands is because Maldives is a Muslim country, it's actually legal to take alcohol into the, into the Maldives and on the local islands there's no, no alcohol available to you. Resort islands are all privately owned, which is why they can serve alcohol there. The annual average temperature in the Maldives is between 24 and 30 degrees all year round, so there's really no bad time to go. However, the off season is between May and August, that's considered the rainy season and that's when we went because that's also cheaper although we were very lucky with the rain only two days of rain in the 12 days that we were there yeah and even when it does rain normally it's a thunderstorm for an hour hour and a half and you're back on the beach and back in the water which is still fun we're not going to go into too much detail around the COVID protocols pure and simply because it's constantly changing one of the nice things about the Maldives so that you need to keep in mind is that it's visa on arrival. So you don't have to worry about applying for your visas beforehand. And it really is geared towards tourism. I mean, everybody's lovely, everything works. You know, there's really no, there's no hassle for us. No hang-ups. It yeah. was easy. No, yeah, we, we showed COVID, up. COVID took a bit of um, its toll at the airports, both here in South Africa and in the Maldives. Just okay. the protocols and how they were putting it into place. But let's give you perspective. It's a very small island and when Paul says protocols, we were in the queue for 45 minutes where they were just going through people screening. That's it. So that's not, it's not hours, it's not long. But normally without COVID that would even have been quicker. You'd be off your plane and onto your speedboat in 20 minutes. Please stick around to the end where we'll give you a full cost breakdown of how much everything costs us, including tips on how you could do it cheaper or more expensive depending on your personal budget. In my research, one of the things that I found is when I wanted to book a tour directly on their website, they charged me 13 and a half thousand Rand for the flight. I went through Travel Start and it ended up being eight and a half thousand Rand per person for a flight. Big saving. So hello Nessie. Hello, Nessie. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Doha. It's fucking George Street down there. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. We are in Doha. Yeah. 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 We've got to do that slowly, otherwise, some people get dizzy. Sick, sick, dizzy, dizzy. <laughs> so, what a beautiful airport, and it's quite busy. Yeah, it's actually when we first walked in it was kind of scary because it was dead empty and then we went for a stroll because we got a three hour layover and then we hit this part which is amazing there's like five harrods 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 <laughs> um, no, it's uh, very busy, huge duty-free shops beautiful opulent and we had an awesome flight um Qatar airlines is amazing the food was great so we're loving it our venture has begun. You're going to want to get a window seat flying into the Maldives. It's a beautiful picture. Uh, funny story is I was looking down at the water and I saw this massive shadow in the w water. I thought it was a whale or a huge shark. It turned out to be the aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> now, so the Maldives consist of about 1,200 islands. So about 200 of them are inhabited. But flying into Mali, it is absolutely beautiful having such a bird's eye view of all the islands. Amazing.
So it is currently a little windy and a little overcast. And happy. But but how do you feel? Happy. Yeah. Super excited. Just got into our shuttle and we are on our way to our hotel for the first Hello. night. Hello. So because hi, hi. um because currently with COVID they don't have um, unless you get a private charter speedboat they have limited um, speedboats and the speedboat is only running to our hotel but we're staying on Belidu tomorrow at 11 o'clock so we've had to book into um, Hulu, Hulu Mali into a hotel here for one night and um, because we're going to be at less than 48 hours if you stay in the greater Mala area for more than 48 hours you have to do another PCR COVID test mm -hmm. but because we're only going to be here for the one night um, we don't, didn't have to do split stays which if you go to more than one hotel you normally have to declare split stay or not normally but under COVID rules now um, and tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock we're going to catch our ferry Lekker, hopefully can't get wait. a good night's nice rest tonight because we've had about three hours of sleep a um, lot of gaming, a lot of gaming. movies, <laughs> um, best food ever. You needed to show your proof of accommodation for your entire stay, then your negative COVID test, PCR test, um, and then you also had to do a health declaration within 24 hours of arriving here. So I actually did one for Paul and then had to redo it because I thought it was going to expire before we get here. Um, but all that is is a few questions. You attach your PCR test with a photo. Um, and then you keep the barcode. <laughs> this is a very pretty photo. Um, with, you keep the, the barcode and they just asked for that when we got here. So we just had to represent that and that is it. Nothing else. Across the water is Mali. That is the capital city of Maldives. But it's mostly industrial and residential. And then it's got a mosque. Um, so you have to take a ferry or a taxi. The ferry is around about $1. Taxi is a little bit more expensive. Um, and we were, they could charge you up to $67. Yeah. So, Nessie, your first peak is my Obivian lifestyle. It's like a McDonald's. I'm loving it. <laughs> this is the place. <laughs> don't know what's in this water. We don't know whether this is coming going in or out of the ocean. <laughs> Everybody just seems to have little barbecues on the beach. Yeah. Like all the little families come together. Yeah. See this um I put um I put it. It's water, so it will pump itself through and then plant it in there. I've been to the Maldives before, but previously I went straight to one of the, the resort islands. This time we spent the night in Hulumali and it was such an amazing experience. It's very vibey, it's very much like Thailand or Vietnam, with all the restaurants along the beachfront. So if you can, try and spend at least just one night in Hulumali to, to get a bit more of that atmosphere and the local experience. Cheers! Cheers. It's our first coconut! <laughs> Yay! Look at the coconuts on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, take him anyway. You made a friend. So, hello. Hello. We are about to get onto our speedboat to Belido. Belido. Thank you. This is Fazel. He's been very, very helpful. He's done everything for us. How beautiful is it? One of the ways to get there is through speedboat, which is what we went. That's $40 one way per person. But as a cheaper alternative, normally, or under normal circumstances, I don't know whether it's running right now. There's also a $3 ferry that takes you four hours versus the one hour.
There are various different accommodation options available on Validi, ranging from guest houses to hotels, and all varying in price and comfort levels. This is where we are staying, this is our local. I just want to show you the exit from where we're leaving. Look how beautiful that is. We are literally on the beach. And here in front of us is the nicest um, beach for snorkeling as well. So this is the, the local um, house reef. But I will have Mercy, our owner of the lodge we're staying at, telling you more. But this is where we are staying. We are staying at Velidu Eon Lodge. We opted for ER Lodge based on a combination of price and reviews. The air conditioning was fantastic and we were very, very happy. This is very old trees, around uh, 300 years. Uh, I was born in this side. This tree is also the same size. <laughs> so, <laughs> Wish something to put like a, a string. I will show you. Then you can get an organ for the center. What must I wish for? I'm in the Maldives already. No, if you <laughs> something, something to wish. I wish you come true. Yeah, like this. Ah. And now you wish. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Beautiful is this? Our first snorkel. We've just had a tour of the island and now we are about to see what's underwater. Join me. When you go snorkeling, it's like diving in a fish tank. You can see for miles and it's absolutely beautiful. The fish life, the coral life, and the nice warm water. And that sound you're hearing is actually the fish eating and the sound of the coral being alive. Somewhere on a remote island in Maldives, this is our view. This is one of our favourite restaurants and we had our first meal there on the island. They set um, a table up for us on the beach which was absolutely amazing. There are several different options available on the island though and I have to say all the food was incredible. We opted for local Maldivian food which cost us between 55 and 70 rand so that's between 3 and 5 dollars a plate but if you want to go western you can have western meals, pizzas, anything you can think about and that's about 10 dollars so 150 rand a meal. One of the really cool things we did was every night down on the pier you will find the locals fishing and catching sardines and they actually catch it without bait. They just use a hook and through the way that they flick it, it creates a flicker in the water and the fish actually bite it. It is an amazing experience. We ended up buying fishing rods while we were there, although we could get it for free. Musa did give it to us, but we wanted our own. We wanted to take it to the next level and we ended up fishing with the locals every night, which is a really cool experience. The other thing you can do as well in the evenings, well during the day too, but the evenings is better, is you have the nurse sharks and the stingrays on the beach where you can feed them and they're all kind of huddle together. It's quite amazing to see. Good morning, we are just about to get ready for our first scuba dive today. Yay! Yay! See, how do you feel? 
I feel awesome. When's the last time you dived? Uh, 1990, like 30 something <laughs> years ago. Um, so this is going to be years very ago. weird. <laughs> are you doing a refresh or are you just getting in the water? No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see how it goes. <laughs> okay, well it's a good thing I was a lifeguard. <laughs> <laughs> So currently what they're busy doing is they are digging out sand um, because they are actually losing a part of the beach. Two amazing things that struck me when diving in the Maldives was number one is the visibility. The visibility was amazing and we went in bad visibility season. And the other thing was diving in 28 degrees of water. Whether you're diving at 5 meters or 30 meters, the temperature is 28 degrees and it's so good just to be diving free, no wetsuit, just in your costume. So we just finished our first dive. Happy faces. Look how clear this water is, guys. That's five meters. We've just come off this reef. There's a beautiful current from that side of the island. So we started round about there and we came all along the reef here. Uh, we took about 35 minutes and that's also in front of where we're staying so where we stay and where we snorkeled yesterday over there is actually the best um, place to snorkel on the island as well and to swim and to dive one of the big misconceptions about Polito because it's a local island and the whole of the Maldives are, um, is a Muslim country is that women has to be covered up at all times below the knees and the shoulders so i would recommend you do that in places like mali and hulu mali which is the capitals however here yeah, we've got it on very good authority from musa our guest house owner and the previous mayor that this is a fine dress code for everyday life the only thing you have to keep in mind is that there's only two bikini beaches and that's the only place that you are allowed to walk around in a bikini same for men they can't they have to wear shirts at all times so there's two, the first one is mostly eroded away, so they've created this new beach and I'm going to give you a little tour, follow me. As you can see, white sand, clear water, there's only one other person on the beach today with us and that is pretty much how it is every day, you have a private beach all to yourself. Good. So this is our fourth day on the beautiful, fourth full day in the beautiful island of Aludo. Um, the first day we went diving, then um, got hooked and decided to do our advanced diving course. The second day we spent the whole day in our room, stunning for that advanced diving course. <laughs> Third day we went diving again and today we had a um, trip to a sandbank and snorkeling at a wreck, which was absolutely beautiful.
So what we're going to do is post a separate video that will show all the highlights of all the diving and snorkeling that we've done. And speaking of happy coincidence, we want to introduce you to somebody quick. Okay, okay. Wave to everybody. This is our um, scuba diving instructor. He did the first day of diving with us and he is the reason that it's cost us a lot more money than we were anticipating. <laughs> <laughs> so hi to everybody, okay? Hello. Tell them a little bit about the leader dive. Fulidu Dive, right? Fulidu Dive is um, located in Fulidu Island, which is really remote, the island in the Indian Ocean. Um, great dive sites around, a um, lot of channel dives and a lot of easy dives, and yeah, mostly it. <laughs> yeah, what's it been your highlight so far, Missy? Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> There's been highlights? <laughs> Snorkeling today was amazing. Oh, yeah. It was clear today. Did you dive this morning? Yeah, I, I did. One dive was really fun. We saw the dolphins. So, on one of oh, the, yeah, we did too. It was just outside Fulidu right here. When we took off, there was like hundreds of dolphins around. Oh, but we didn't, we didn't swim with it. No? No. This day we got to swim with the dolphins. We were dragged behind the boat on a long, thick rope and I took my phone and GoPro and we were filming the dolphins all around us. They were jumping all over the place. These specific dolphins we were swimming with were pool dolphins. They like showing off. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> And they see what you're doing. So we are preparing the fish that we caught yesterday. It's a white snapper. Can't wait to taste this baby. And also his wife has invited us for dinner. So chicken, sausage and fish. So Lundy is pushing me in the wheelbarrow around the island. <laughs> <laughs> He's living his best life. <laughs> He's about to throw me off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fall! Ah! Oh, <laughs> I'm hoping not to die. Oh. So most things in the Maldives are imported um, and then further transferred from Mali to the local island. Therefore it's highly recommended that whatever you need you actually do bring yourself. Um, However, we're going to show you one of the local convenience stores. You'll see it's very, very packed and the prices are actually very reasonable. So, follow me. Remember, before you go into any shop, to leave your shoes outside. And I guarantee you, it's very, very safe. Yesterday, I forgot I had shoes and somebody ran down the street after me to give it back. So, as you can see, pretty much anything you can think of. We've got flip-flops, we've got all the toiletries, um, stuff for needlework. You come through here, very good use of space, by the way. Um, nothing wasted. You've got food products here and a lot of the guest houses will allow you to actually cook some of your own food as well. on the island. I've also been told that it's actually cheaper to buy souvenirs on Belidu than it would be to buy it in Mali. So let's have a look. On the island of Vilidu, we like our long walks. They take about two and a half minutes to do the whole island, you see. And um, today the wind is blowing terribly hard and it was raining and the sea was very rough so we couldn't dive.
very, very tragic. We leave in two days and um, Lundy hasn't stopped crying. So we left the room just to make her stop crying. Uh, we've taken a walk to the beach, uh, all four of them. So we went north, south, east and west of the island. And um, we've just been perusing the shops. On a serious note though, it takes exactly 30 minutes for a leisurely stroll right around the circumference of the island. So on the beachfront. 30 minutes and you've, you've done literally surrounded the island, walking very slowly. So if you're in the middle of the main street, in the middle of the main main street, <laughs> if you look left, you can see the sea. If you look right, you can see the sea. If you look forward and backwards, you can see the sea. We're not in the main street, by the way. We're not in the main street. <laughs> Time to go home and take the mandatory PCR test. Here's some highlights of our stay in Valido before we head off to Mali for our last day. So we spent the day in Mali of a couple we met on Valide that was there for the honeymoon. They were actually from the Maldives, so they showed us around Mali and we went for an absolutely lovely lunch on our last day before flying back to South Africa. Hi, welcome to Mali. We've got one day left before we go home, so we thought we'd check out the markets. We're having fun, loads of fish, loads of fresh food, spices, chilies, we're loving it. It's so many funny and crazy things. Come, let's go see what's up. If like Paul and I you have a little bit of time at the airport, you can go to Mali. However, honestly, it is not really worth the trip and I wouldn't go out of my way to go there. Hi guys! Okay, so it's recommended that you bring everything, because Valido is a small island, that you bring everything that you need. However, if you do forget something, we're going to show you um, some of the local shops that they have on the island. Very important before you go in, is that you take your slops off. And you leave it outside. Okay, come on. Some water. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so we're doing our last walk through the town just to uh, a little bit of milk. A little bit of milk, don't you? Since we were here all night. Your feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks <laughs> 
we had so much fun on all the islands. No, we didn't. Anyway, fun. So technically, we went to three different islands. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. You'll have to cut that out. Okay. Last bit. okay. Da 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 da.